Hi guys, this is Satyam and today I am going to tell you how to extract boot.img file from a recovery ROM. So uh, I had this problem with root. Um, I MIUI 13 was rooted and I updated it uh, through OTA to MIUI 14 and my root was gone. So I was uh, very disappointed to see that uh, it had been a long time since I rooted any phone and then this happened. So naturally the first move I made was to try and root MIUI 14 again. And in order to do that, obviously I was going to need the boot.img file for MIUI 14. So uh, the only source for boot.img for any ROM is the fastboot ROM of that device. You can find uh, any fastboot ROM for your device uh, by simply googling it on the internet. But in my case, since the update is fairly new and only I think uh, uh, select few are getting that update. There was no fastboot ROM for uh, MIUI 14. Uh, believe me, I searched a lot. And it might also happen to uh, users of other phones. Uh, the most relevant example could be uh, OnePlus. So there was no fa uh, that uh, boot.mg file or fastboot ROM. Uh, and uh, I wanted to root my phone. So basically after a few hours of googling stuff and looking for YouTube tutorials, uh, I found a way to extract boot.img file from a recovery ROM. See, uh, this is the general rule. You can't uh, use the boot.img file from a previous or a later version of your OS to uh, root the current OS. Uh, see, MIUI 13 boot ROM didn't work for me on MIUI 14 and it won't work on 12. This is the general rule. You need boot.img file for that certain OS that you are using. So without wasting any more time, let's get to it. It's a very simple process and I will link all the tools in the description. See what you need uh, is only two things here. You need payload dumper and uh, you need the ROM file that you uh, that you've downloaded that you have updated to that you need to root. See, uh, I'm using MIUI 14 right now. So I've downloaded the recovery ROM for MIUI 14. And this is a payload dumper right here. You put uh, both of them in a single folder and then you extract both of them. So there's this uh, ROM that I've extracted MIUI 14 and this is a payload dumper. The next step is uh, you open this file. And as you can see, uh, there are some files here, the payload.bin here. This is 3.57 GB right now. So what you need to do is you copy this and then you go to the payload dumper folder. And you can see there are payload input and output folders. There are two folders. So make sure you open this payload input folder and you post that payload.bin file here. So it's gonna take some time one to two minutes i'll skip ahead so as you can see this is about done there it's pasted right here uh, payload.bin file and now we have to go back and this is a very simple step this is uh, nothing to be worried about you see this uh, payload dumper.exe. All you have to do is double click on it. You don't have to write any commands, press any buttons. You just double click it and this payload.bin file will be extracted here in payload output folder. You just double click it and see the process has already begun. So you can wait around for uh, the other partitions to be extracted. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time about 5 to 10 minutes depending on your system and it will be all extracted here see payload.output and you can see this is the boot.img for the ROM the recovery ROM that you're using and now you are free to copy it and uh, 
you know uh, you can patch it with magis to root your phone this is a very very simple tutorial but it took me a lot of time to realize this uh, to find this file so happy rooting and uh, i will be posting a video on how to root miui 14 with the magisk delta so thank you for your time and uh, all the credit goes to the developers of these tools uh, you know uh, payload dot uh, this payload dumper was uh, you know uh, created by this uh, DJ subterrain credit goes to him and you can find the MIUI ROMs here I'll provide the link in the description as well and uh, thank you for your time and remember you can use it uh, use this method to extract boot file from any other ROM as well and uh, you can root it then. Thank you for watching.